Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to share books that have come in from the library that may be possible things that I might pick up in August. I just still have quite a few things out from previous months that are still there that I feel like I might want to pick up in August, but this is kind of a new batch that you haven't seen on the channel before. I'll start with nonfiction. That's the biggest pile here. The book that I'm currently reading I just started is Blood Orange Nights, My Journey to the Edge of Madness by Melissa Bond. And this focuses on a woman's substance abuse issues that she has as a result of insomnia that she's suffering after having two kids. She got pregnant when one of her children was seven months. Her first child is also special needs and so her doctor prescribed her pills to help her go to sleep and she basically became addicted to them and like couldn't function without them and she delves into like how prevalent this is, what Big Pharma's role in that is and what doctor's role in that is as well. I am enjoying her writing. It is I would say like emotional and evocative and we'll see what I end up thinking about this. It has been compared to Brain on Fire. Then I also have Some of My Best Friends. This is by Taja Eason and it's a collection of essays and it says essays on lip service. And it's basically supposed to critique how we think about social justice in today's world. It says the world has grown fluent in the language of social justice but doesn't always follow through. So I haven't read a collection of essays in a while and I'm hoping that this one is a good one. I also have Cult. I'm waiting for my audiobook of this one. Inside the World's Most Notorious groups and understanding the people who join them and it's based off of a podcast actually which I've never heard. I'm someone who is interested in cults and like why people might join cults. I've read quite a few books about it and I'm always interested in to read more. Then an anticipated release that I've been looking forward to is Roll Red Roll, Rape, Power, and Football in the American Heartland. This focuses on the rape case uh, out of Steubenville, Ohio from 2012. I'm very interested to see what this has to say about that. I also have one called Bad City, Peril and Power in the City of Angels by Paul Pringle. I just know that this focuses on Los Angeles and especially, I think it's USC? Yes. So it focuses on like institutional corruption through USC connected with other institutions in Los Angeles. I think that's kind of like my main thoughts of what this is about. It looked like something that I'd be interested in, um, especially like institutional corruption. That's kind of one of my buzzwords when it comes to nonfiction, I'd say. And then my last nonfiction book that I have is called Paradise Falls, a true story of an environment environmental catastrophe. This book really interested me um, from the cover. It reminded me of the cover of a book that was up for the booktube nonfiction prize last year that I read, Milltown. Yes. And that one was about a city in Maine that had a paper mill in it that kind of created all the jobs there but also made people really sick. And this book focuses on a kind of very similar story. In the 1940s and 1950s, the city's largest employer had quietly filled 20,000 tons of toxic waste into the water in that area. The effects of corporate pollution helped spark modern environmental movement as we know it today. Now, as for my fiction books, I only have two that are new. One of them is called The Little Rabbit. First off, it's the cover that drew me in for sure. And then when I looked inside, it it's blurred by Ling Ma at the top. It says that it's a book about exploring the complexity of sexual power with dizzying perceptive intimacy. Little Rabbit is a wholly new kind of coming of age story about lust, punishment, artistic drive, and the desires that defy the hard won boundaries of the self. I have heard, like I've read some good reach reviews that say that this is kind of cringy, so we'll see what I think about that, where I land on that. And then last but not least is one that's supposed to be funny, a funny coming of age story, and that's The Most Precious Substance on Earth by Shashi Bhatt. And this one I'm waiting for the audiobook of it as well. That cover is really really fascinating and interesting. I love the colors. A girl in the 90s as she's growing up and then she goes to school to become a teacher herself. She's also wanting to be a writer as well. It says darkly funny, deeply moving, at times unsettling and even shocking. This is novels and stories. She has a crush on her teacher and she's also flirting with an internet predator. So it seems like she's not like everybody's hero. And then last but not least I have four new graphic novels that you haven't seen. The first one is a follow-up in Heartstopper. This is volume four. I haven't read this one yet. I think this is as far as they have been published in America so far. I think I just want a nice hug from Charlie and Nick so I'm hoping that I enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed all the other ones. And I also feel like I haven't read it in a while so I feel like I'll be so much more excited to be back in their world. One that I just picked up because I loved 
the way that it looked. It's called Isla to Island. It's by Alexis Castellanos. It looks like it focuses on a girl from Cuba. I'm not sure the setting of it because when you look through some of the pages, they do look a bit historical. There is basically no dialogue in this, so I'm interested to see how I really take that story in as a result. And then after that, I also have Putin, I can never say his name right, Putin's Russia, The Rise of a Dictator by Daryl Cunningham. I saw this on um, a couple channels here and I've read some Goodreads reviews as well and looks interesting. The art style also is something that's kind of like up my alley. I definitely don't know as much as I should about someone like Vladimir Putin. And then last but not least is one that I'm super excited for and it's book two of Hakim's Odyssey. This one is from Turkey to Greece. The first book takes part kind of in Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Turkey. And then it's moving from Turkey to Greece before we make a big segue into all of Europe basically till France. Um, where we left off he's kind of like moving on with his wife that is not pregnant and this is kind of what the art looks on the inside. Yeah. And this is translated from French. That's my pile of things that I'm hoping to read in this upcoming month. Maybe some other things sprinkled in. We'll see what else kind of catches my eye. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.